sun. So go ahead and work back on that. Mr. Sanderson at the American Academy of Innovation decided to let his students voice their opinions on the proposed new state flag design. And I thought, hey, I hope my students would have a good time talking about this and discussing this and sharing their views. I wonder what they think. The students showed passion, debate, and some strong critique of the new proposed flag. It's the ugly for me. But also some strong support for the new flag. This flag has been here way too long, and I think it's time for a change. Mr. Sanderson says the small details on the flags are symbolic of who we are as Utahns. The details are also what the students were most passionate about. The old one has like a nice eagle and everything you don't have like lily flowers and all. So but this one doesn't. This one just like a star. I like the new state flag, it's more bold and it represents Utah a lot more than just a flower and an eagle. An adjective to describe the advice they'd give to lawmakers when voting on the new state flag in the future? Straightforward. If you're going to change it, just make the new flag better. Use the new flag, get rid of the old one. But despite their differing opinions, they showed each other civility. And it gives them a, an ex the experience of, can I be civil today? You know, I tell my students that a lot of the study of history is learning about the management and mismanagement of conflict. Can we learn from it? Can we learn the lessons of history, the good and the bad? And can we do better today? And they also had fun. I think it's just fun to let students have a voice and to share their thoughts in, in processes like these. I don't know about you guys, but I think I'm standing in the room with some future lawmakers and journalists. As for what's next for the state flag, the flag that is approved today by the committee will go to the state legislature for final approval in January. In South Jordan, I'm Darian DeBrule. Fox 13.